All right, come on, Dan the man. Bluefields, West Virginia. Mm -hmm. uh, this is on seeking information. It says to whom it may concern, I am writing to the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ in order to ascertain its position and rationale for or against licensing and ordaining women in the church as apostles, bishops, deaconesses, elders, evangelists, missionaries, pastors, prophetesses, and teachers. Would you kindly please send me a response as in an email, a doctrinal statement via U.S. mail, and or refer me to your church's website or link. Thank you for all you can do for all you are doing for the kingdom of God and for Yeshua Messiah. This comes from Bluefields, West Virginia. Who's the fellow that wrote it? Uh, Elder Thomas Williams, Ph.D. 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 Lord. Mm -hmm. Lord. Ph.D. Poor head destruction. <laughs> PhD. There is no Bible. No Bible. No. Nowhere. Where God Almighty ever called and sent a woman to preach the gospel. Amen. Organization started that trash. That's right. You know, when I was a child, my job at home was to take out the trash. And God Almighty sent me and made me a preacher and then gave me the same job. That's right. <laughs> I still find myself taking out the trash. Amen. Hallelujah to God. All right, quickly, let's cross. The belief. Now, I notice in your letter, you have uh, women apostles. God ain't never sent or made an apostle out of a woman. No. I want this to be good for another person that wrote me. I can't think of the name. They said, uh, when I hear you preach against women preachers, you sound like you have something against women in authority. Oh, no, I don't. No. A woman can be a queen. A woman can be a president. Fine. She can be a judge. If she passed sentence on you, you in jail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Oh, yeah. So I don't have no problem with the woman being in a position of authority as long as that position don't contradict what God said. Mm -hmm. That's my argument. Mm -hmm. No need for no preacher to put a woman in position of authority if that position contradict the Lord. That's right. You are find in 1 Timothy chapter 3, the Bible said if a man desire the office of a bishop, he desired the office of a good work. For a bishop must be the husband of one wife. It didn't say a bishop must be the wife of one husband. No, no. It didn't say if a woman desired the office. No. No, if a man. What? If a man desired the office. This is not male chauvinism. This is a true saying. This is just true. That's, That's right. right. Give chapter and verse. First Timothy chapter 3, we're at the first verse. What is it? This is a true saying. This is a true saying. If a man desire the office of a bishop, what is it? he desireth a good work. Is that true? Amen. Amen. Right. True saying. You better give me John. Mm -hmm. uh, chapter 3, and begin at verse 33, if I'm not mistaken. John chapter 3, we'll start at verse 33. Let's see what did the Lord say. He that hath received his testimony hath said to his seal that God is true. Verse 32. At verse 32. All right. And what he had seen and heard that he testifieth and no man received Verse 34. At verse 34. And? For he. For she. For he. She. He. H-E. What did the Holy Ghost say? For he, he whom God, God hath sent, hath sent, speaketh the words of God. God don't send women to preach. No. He whom God hath sent. That's why you don't need for no one to go license no woman to be a deaconess. You don't have, there's no such thing That's right. of a deaconess in the Bible. Organizations did that. That's right. That's there right. is no such thing That's right. as a woman in the Bible called missionary. No. Yeah. Here, here Pentecostal, yeah. here so-called apostolic, right. apostolic, there's a worm in your apples. That's right. Here now, That's right. Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, mm -hmm. you don't have no woman in the Bible mm -hmm. that the Lord our God call a missionary. That's right. I tell you what God says to the apostle to Timothy. call, listen, mm -hmm. what God told the apostle to call women of age. And young women. First Timothy chapter 5, we're at verse 2. Follow me. The elder women. As women that's of age. As mothers. As sweethearts. 
as mothers, sugar pie, mothers, honey bun, mothers, baby doll, mothers, missionary, mothers. What did the Bible say? The elder women as mothers. The elder women or the older women as missionaries. As mothers. Amen. Amen. And what did he say, the young ones? The younger as sisters. No, as junior missionaries. As sisters. <laughs> Amen. All of you churches that call your women missionaries, where did that come from? Right. What scripture? That's right. Don't you know the word of God says, whatsoever thing, mm -hmm. and you got things in your religion. Amen. Whatsoever thing were written, mm -hmm. written, of four times, that means before your church came. Right. <laughs> were written for our learning. Now, I read this, mm -hmm. and I have not learned Amen. since my reading Amen. that missionaries came from the Bible. No. Mm -hmm. Apostolic. Mm -hmm. Man, you got the whole truth, stop that line. You have no business having a woman in an office that's not in that Bible. That's right. Junior missionary. Junior missionary. That don't exist. No. Like junior deacons. Mm -hmm. If somebody gives me a three dollar bill, if I'm broke, I mean broke. <laughs> and you give me a three dollar bill, I'm still broke. That's right. <laughs> A three dollar bill is not real. That's right. Why should I get happy? Right. I can't buy nothing. No. Then you up it. <laughs> Give me a six dollar bill. My oh, Lord. Same condition. I'm still broke. Same yeah. broke. Then you give me a twenty nine dollar bill. <laughs> My Lord. I'm still broke. Still broke. That's is equal. To being a so-called missionary, deaconess, yes. junior elder, yes. junior bishop, mm -hmm. all of those offices are artificial, right. counterfeit. That's right. It didn't come from the authentic Bible, right. from the scriptures of church. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. The uh, Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 12. 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 12. I suffer. I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man. There's any women preachers here? Sit down. That's right. Well, I know what God told me. You a lie. You a lie. God ain't never told a woman to do something that contradict that Bible. That's right. Uh -huh. never. never. That's right. To all my women preachers that are watching around the world, mm -hmm. send me one scripture mm -hmm. where one woman preached the gospel and the Bible said she did. That's right. Don't go give me Priscilla and Aquila. No. That's husband and wife. Mm -hmm. Well, the Bible said they expound mm -hmm. unto Apollos the more perfect way. Pastor Jennings, what do expound mean? Mm -hmm. Just simply mean to explain. Explain. That's all that is. That's all. Like you women explain, talk about the Bible to your children. That's it. That's it. Then some of you go get the donkey. Yeah. That's right. What intelligent woman will compare herself to a donkey? Amen. And you brag because I had, there was a female animal. And you say, if God can use a donkey, he can use anything. Right. But God himself, look at what I'm about to toss at you. Mm -hmm. Not even God mm -hmm. can go outside right. of his own word. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. Everything that God wants us to know yeah. is right in here. Oh, yeah. Amen. Wonderful. Glory right. to God, not even God himself will break the scriptures for anybody to do anything. That's right. Amen. You women that say you're preachers, tell me about your title. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm a pastor. Show me one woman pastor in the Bible. Yeah. I'm my husband's assistant pastor. Show me one Show me female assistant pastor in the Bible. Peter was a married man. That's right. I defy the whole world to show me one woman one that woman. Peter wife was an assistant pastor. That's right. You little weak, spineless preachers. That's right. The reason why you make your wife your assistant 
because that's a mom and pop business oh, yeah. that you call church. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. It's a family business. Yeah. Yeah. Father, yes, the husband is a big thief mm -hmm. and the wife assists him in stealing. That's right. Amen. That's right. Every Amen. woman that's in a pulpit claiming you a preacher. You ain't, you're no Christian. No. Because you're not like Christ. Amen. You've been lied to. Amen. You've been tricked. Mm -hmm. You've been deceived. Yeah. And every woman says, I know what God said to me. God don't say nothing that contradicts the Bible. That's, That's right. right. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. When a woman says she's a preacher, you a liar. That's a lie. Amen. Even if your husband said you're a preacher, That's right. you're a liar. Amen. 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 I am against the prophets. Look at the Bible. Now in the book of Jeremiah, and chapter I don't need for you to get upset if you're in here and tip out. Amen. Don't Amen. go tipping out. That's showing your cowardness. That's right. I'm here to help you. That's Amen. right. Get your wife out the pulpit. Amen. Amen. That God be true. Wonderful. God says the head a very woman is who? Man. Talk to me. Man. Talk to me. Man. So how is it, brother, that you're the head at home yes. and you're the tail in church? Amen. How is it? Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. Am I? Amen. Amen. Wonderful. Wonderful. The reason Amen. why you preachers don't fight women preachers you love to see her bounce around the pulpit. Right. Amen. You love to see them breastfeeds. Go ahead, man. Amen. Amen. You love to see the motion of that Go body. Go ahead. That's why you're jumping out your chair. Go ahead. <laughs> All behind the chair. That's right, Bob. Work on it, sir. Work on it, sir. Work on it. Amen. Work on it, sir. Work. Am I right, man? Amen. Wonderful. Look at you, woman, kicking your heels up, thighs showing, cleavage showing, back all out, half naked, and yet you say you represent Christ. My Lord, you represent whoredom. That's right. That's right, sir. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. Sir. That's right. Wonderful. God said. Amen. Cover up, cover up the shame of thy nakedness. Amen. Amen. A holy woman, cleavage ain't seen. No, Back not out. No. Not outside all naked. No. Ain't wearing pants like a man. That's no. right. All low riding jeans. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead, go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. Amen. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. Amen. Wonderful. Don't have ankle chains on like a prostitute. Amen. And you brag you a Christian? Go ahead, sir. How are you going to represent Christ and look like Jezebel? That's Amen. right. Amen. 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 Wonderful, wonderful. Why are you listening to what I'm talking? That's Amen. right. I suffer. I suffer not a woman to teach. Not. 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 not to teach. Lord, thank God I feel it all in me. Oh, wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. I suffer, I suffer not suffer not a woman to teach. This is doctrine. That's Amen. right. And you religion organizations ignored it. Mm -hmm. So you try to be slick, many of you apostolics. Yes. You say you don't believe in women preachers, yes. so you don't let them in the pulpit. Right. But you let them take a topic or a subject down there. That's right. They're going to hell just the same. That's Amen. right. Wonderful, wonderful. Amen. There's yeah. not no such thing. As a women evangelist, no such thing, no such thing, no such thing. as a women apostle, no, no. a woman pastor, yeah. a deaconess yeah. that came from hell. Amen. And we're gonna take that trash and put it back in hell. But I suffer not, I suffer not a, a woman, woman to, teach, to teach, nor to usurp authority over nor the man, exercise authority over the man, but, but to be in, be in silence. For Adam was first formed. Then who? Then Eve. What happened? And Adam was not deceived. Right, right. But the woman being deceived. Fell in the transgression. Was in the transgression. Or Tim chapter, if I'm correct, or 1 Corinthians, first begin at verse 30. 1 Corinthians 14 and at verse 30. I want all of you women preachers, believers, mm -hmm. whether you men or women, to hear this message hear because message. I got an open challenge yeah. to every religious organization on the earth, bar none. Amen. Bar none. Amen. All of you that have women preachers, mm -hmm. 
Let's have an open Bible discussion. Yes, mm -hmm. Sorry, let's have an open Jamaica, Jamaica. Yes. Well, Jamaica, look, all of you preachers in Jamaica, you proven to be cowards. Yes. And ain't none of you have no strength. Mm -hmm. You might as well just go back home and eat your rice and beans and call it a day. <laughs> because we have been, this stuff been bombing Jamaica from the air. And when we come there to shoot you from the ground, the Jamaican folks are dead by the hundreds until they're standing outside by the hundreds. Yeah. And there's not a preacher in Jamaica that came to the plate yet ready to box with the Bible right. with his women preachers. That's yeah. right. You hide behind your church and then tell the people, that man from Philadelphia is wrong. He's a wrong man. Amen. That's right. I'm not a closet champion. No, no. We got our title up. Amen. And I dare you to take it. Amen. I'm not a phantom weight. No, oh, no. This is a heavyweight gospel. That's right. Wonderful. And we sing it with the Old Testament. That's right. And with the New Testament. Amen. And the Lord say, whatever you do, do quickly. That's it. Got to hit you quick. Hit you real quick. That's right. That's it, sir. Then you stand there and swing. Hallelujah. That windmill swing and trying to bring, trying to bring Bible and justify women preachers. They can preach. They can preach. Show his knuckles. Hallelujah. Come on, men. Come on. You men that got your wife as your sister. I'm challenging you. Oh, yeah. Come on and protect your woman. Oh, yeah. I take your woman out the pulpit with the Bible. With the Bible. I'm giving you the opportunity to give Bible to keep her in there. That's Amen. right. I challenge you, so now I take her out. Go ahead. I dare you to keep her in there. Go ahead, brother. Amen. Get her. Hallelujah. If you sit, if you sitting here today. And your wife is the preacher, uh -huh. and you know she's the preacher, uh -huh. and you's a man, Amen. and you gonna stand up to protect her right now. Right now, woman, you're married to a coward. That's right. That's right. Man. You're married to a weakling. That's right. Man. All the churches. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. In the south. Go ahead. Got to take all your women out the pulpit. Take them out. Amen. Amen. Church of God in Christ. Amen. Church of God of prophecy. Amen. Pentecostal. Amen. Yes. Amen. Take them out. Hallelujah. 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 Take them out. Take them out. All you so-called apostolics that's getting them in there. Bible way. Amen. Let God be true, Bible way. Bible way. Bible way. Amen. You went right by the Bible. Amen. A man that's a real man will not follow a woman. That's right. Wonderful. That's right. Wonderful. Let God be true, Wonderful. That's right. Talk to me. Amen. Talk to me. Amen. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Go ahead, Pastor. Go ahead, sir. Pull it down. Sir. When a woman get married, pull it down. She want a man. That's right. Yeah. That will protect her. Amen. Provide for. Amen. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. 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 If you got a woman preacher, she can't protect you. No, no. Let me give Bible for it. Isaiah chapter 3. And at verse 12. And verse 12. As for my people. As for my people. Children are their oppressors. Children are their oppressors. And women. Women. Rule over them. Rule over them. Oh, my people. How did the prophet feel? Oh, my people. How did the prophet feel, brothers? Oh, my people. How did the prophet feel? Oh, my people. How did he feel? Oh, my people. Amen. The subject is the effect that a woman has on the people. That's right. If she try to lead them and God didn't make her that. That's right. He said what? Oh, my people. What they, happened? They, they which lead thee. Who? They which lead thee. If a woman leads you, what's the result? Cause thee to error. She caused thee to what? Cause thee to error. Can she save me? And destroy the way of thy path. You ain't on your way to heaven. No, no, no. Destroy the way. Bible says she destroy your way. That's right. right. She destroy. destroy. I don't care if it's your mama. Amen. Amen. If it's your wife. Amen. If it's your sister. That's right. Your grandmother. Amen. 
every woman that says God called and sent her to preach the gospel, Joyce Myers, that goes for you too. Hey. 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 I don't care who you are. Amen. Amen. Little weak, scared preachers, scared to stand up. God said, who will stand up for me? Amen. Wonderful, sir. I say like I say. Yes, sir. I'll go. Yes, sir. Amen. Wonderful. I'll go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Send me. Yes, sir. Send me, sir. Wonderful. Stand stiffly, sir. Wonderful. You men, stand up for God. Yes, sir. You women, stand up for God. Yes, Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Hallelujah, take God. Praise oh, my people. Wonderful, sir. Beautiful. That's why we preach against the so-called apostolic. They failed. Yes. They failed. Yes. They don't deserve respect. No. Degenerate. United Pentecostal, mm -hmm. with your women preachers. Amen. PAW, yes. with your women preachers. Yes. Why do the men love to have women preachers? Yes. Because women are good money raisers. Yes. They raise money. Amen. You put a campaign on, the women will outdo the men. Amen. That's right. Any That's days, right. Any day. Amen. That's right. Now I want to say to you young men, that's following women preachers. Mm -hmm. I want to show you what God called you. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verses 16 and 17. Get me and follow me. Give mm -hmm. chapter and verse again. Isaiah, chapter 9, verses 16 and 17. He hate women. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. No. Nope. My mama was a woman. That's right. My wife is a woman. Is a woman. Sweet woman, too. <laughs> ain't made for a man. No. 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 You weak men, oh, some of these women preachers. Amen. Weak men. Amen. And here you are. Amen. Talking about you the head of your house. Even if the woman man leave her and she's raising her son, she got to instill in her son, you got to be a man. That's right. Amen. You got to stand up and hold your own. That's right. That's it, folks. Wonderful, sir. See, today a lot of women is end up in situations where they have to be like man and the wife. Amen. And take care of their son and their daughters. Yeah. But when that mother see her son maturing and going into manhood, she can't keep talking to him like he's a baby. No way. No, no. Get a certain age, rain on no lap. No. no, no. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Ain't on no lap. No. I know in the eyes of a mother, their sons will always be their baby. That's right. In the heart. Yeah. But you can't talk that baby talk no more. Oh, no. Amen. When that 25 year old young man come home, you can't go to him. You can look at you. You ain't got no business changing his drawers like your pampers. No way. No. And he ain't bedridden. That's right. That's right. That's right. Putting powder on him. <laughs> That's right. That's He's 25, right. and 25. you washing him. My lord. <laughs> Am I right? That's Amen. right. Amen. Amen. Boy, that God, I have to preach everything. Amen. Everything, sir. You see, and folks that can't take this raw gospel, he ain't had to say that. There's perverts out here. Yeah. On the book. And some of them are parents. Oh, Amen. yeah. That's right. That's right. It only offends Beautiful. perverts. Yeah. That's right. Until one scripture says they will pervert the gospel. Pervert the gospel. Yeah. All right, son. Isaiah chapter 9, verses 16 and 17. All right, For the leaders of this people, the of this people caused them to err. Caused them to err. And they that are led of them are destroyed. What else? Therefore, Therefore, the Lord shall have no joy in their young men. All right, young man. Young man, look at you now. You jumping and shouting and got a woman passing? Lord. God ain't getting no joy out of you. No joy. 
You're around there shaking and jumping and running around telling, preach mother, I go, mother Bishop Cunningham, that's, that's my pastor. Yeah. God ain't got no joy out of you, young man. No, no joy. No. You bragging because you sitting under a woman preaching. Amen. God ain't got no joy out of you. Therefore the Lord shall the have Lord. no joy. Shall have no joy in their young men. In their young men. Neither shall have mercy Neither on the fatherless and widows. On the father or widow. For what? What is everyone that follow women preachers? For everyone is an hypocrite. Amen. Now get mad at Pastor Genesis. Amen. Give chapter and verse. Isaiah chapter. No. Geno chapter three. Isaiah. <laughs> no. Geno chapter three. Isaiah. Give me the book of Pastor Genesis chapter three. Isaiah. <laughs> the book of Pastor Genesis chapter 3. The book of Isaiah chapter 9. God is spoken to you. God is spoken to you. God is spoken to you. Amen. Don't indict me. That's right. Amen. Don't blame me. Don't blame That's you. I'm just not scared to preach it. That's it. Amen. 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 What did he say? Therefore the Lord shall have no joy in Therefore their young men. Therefore the Lord shall have no joy in their young men. Neither shall have mercy on their fatherless and widows. Everyone that follow women preachers, the Bible call them what? For everyone is an hypocrite. No, they say. And hypocrite. No, they're Christian. And, and hypocrite. Both they're on the choir. Everyone is an hypocrite. They're her secretary. Everyone is an hypocrite. He's on the organ. And hypocrite. He's a minister. And hypocrite. He's a deacon. And hypocrite. He's her son. And hypocrite. Amen. Amen. Everyone. This challenge your so-called Christian life. <laughs> People get upset with me and they got the same Bible. That's true. They don't want to read it because they're scared they're going to see it. <laughs> That's right. you got to be a first class hypocrite to hear this and then get back up in your pulpit. Mm -hmm. you got to be a first class hypocrite, hypocrite to hear this and then go back to your same church that ordained all these women and got all these women up preaching. You are nothing but a hypocrite, hypocrite. and to hell you're going. For Amen. everyone you're is you're on your way to hell, you can go to anybody's church after this message, this. but if you don't change and do what the Bible said, yeah. what did the Bible call you? Everyone is a hypocrite and, and an evildoer. But I go to church every Sunday. An evildoer. <laughs> but I participate in the church flea market. An evildoer. But I'm, I'm, I do the church bake sale. An evildoer. I operate the woman preacher's thrift market. An evildoer. <laughs> but I carry her pocketbook in the, in the church. An <laughs> evildoer. But she ordained me. An evildoer. Evil. You're evil. That's Your right. whole wish up is evil. That's Amen. right. Amen. And what? And every mouth speaketh folly. Every mouth don't speak the truth. That's right. Amen. So Mr. PhD, this is why we preach against women preachers. Amen. You take your PhD and throw it in the trash and pick up the Bible and follow it That's and it. repent of your sins mm -hmm. and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and seek the Lord for the Holy Ghost and you come out of what you're in right. and come obey the word of God. Amen.